unable to allocate array with shape and data type. I'm facing an issue with allocating huge arrays in NumPy on Ubuntu 18 while not facing the same issue on Macos. I'm trying to allocate memory for a NumPy array with shape 156,816, 36, 53,806 width. And while I'm getting an error on Ubuntu OS, I'm not getting it on Macos. I've read somewhere that NP.0 shouldn't be really allocating the whole memory needed for the array, but only for the non-zero elements. Even though the Ubuntu machine has 64 GB of memory, while my MacBook Pro has only 16 GB. Versions P.S. Also failed on Google Colab. This is likely due to your system's overcommit handling mode. In the default mode, zero. Heuristic overcommit handling. Obvious overcommits of address space are refused. Used for a typical system. It ensures a seriously wild allocation fails while allowing overcommit to reduce swap usage. The root is allowed to allocate slightly more memory in this mode. This is the default. The exact heuristic used is not well explained here, but this is discussed more on Linux overcommit heuristic and on this page. You can check your current overcommit mode by running. In this case, you're allocating tilde 282 GB and the kernel is saying well obviously there's no way I'm going to be able to commit that many physical pages to this, and it refuses the allocation. If that is root, you run. This will enable the always overcommit mode, and you'll find that indeed the system will allow you to make the allocation no matter how large it is within 64-bit memory addressing at least. I tested this myself on a machine with 32 GB of RAM. With overcommit mode 0 I also got a memory error, but after changing it back to 1 it works. You can then go ahead and write to any location within the array, and the system will only allocate physical pages when you explicitly write to that page. So you can use this, with care for sparse arrays. I had this same problem on Windows and came across this solution. So if someone comes across this problem in Windows the solution for me was to increase the page file size, as it was a memory overcommitment problem for me too. Windows 8 On the keyboard press the Windows key plus X then click system in the pop-up menu, tap or click advanced system settings. You might be asked for an admin password or to confirm your choice, on the advanced tab, under performance, tap or click settings, tap or click the advanced tab, and then, under virtual memory, tap or click change, 
clear the automatically managed paging file size for all drives checkbox, under drive, volume label, tap or click the drive that contains the paging file you want to change, tap or click custom size, enter a new size in megabytes in the initial size, MB, or maximum size, MB, box, tap or click set, and then tap or click OK. Reboot your system. Windows 10 Press the Windows key, type System Property as Advanced, click Run as Administrator, under Performance, click Settings, select the Advanced tab, select Change, uncheck Automatically Managing Paging File Size for All Drives, then select Custom Size and fill in the appropriate size. Press Set then press OK then exit from the Virtual Memory, Performance Options, and System Properties dialog, reboot your system. Note, I did not have the enough memory on my system for the 282 GB in this example but for my particular case this worked. Edit. From here the suggested recommendations for page file size. There is a formula for calculating the correct page file size. Initial size is 1.5, 1 1.5, x the amount of total system memory. Maximum size is 3, 3, x the initial size. So let's say you have 4 GB. 1 GB equals 1024 MB x 4 equals 4096 MB of memory. The initial size would be 1.5 by 4096 equals 6144 MB and the maximum size would be 3 by 6144 equals 18432 MB. Some things to keep in mind from here. However, this does not take into consideration other important factors and system settings that may be unique to your computer. Again, let Windows choose what to use instead of relying on some arbitrary formula that worked on a different computer. Also, increasing page file size may help prevent instabilities and crashing in Windows. However, a hard drive read slash write times are much slower than what they would be if the data were in your computer memory. Having a larger page file is going to add extra work for your hard drive, causing everything else to run slower. Page file size should only be increased when encountering out-of-memory errors, and only as a temporary fix. A better solution is to adding more memory to the computer. I came across this problem on Windows 2. The solution for me was to switch from a 32-bit to a 64-bit version of Python. Indeed, a 32-bit software, like a 32-bit CPU, can address a maximum of 4 GB of RAM, 2 to the power of 32 dot so if you have more than 4 GB of RAM, a 32-bit version cannot take advantage of it. With a 64-bit version of Python, the one labeled x86-64 in the download page, the issue disappears. You can check which version you have by entering the interpreter. I, with a 64-bit version, now have Python 3.7.5 RC1, tag slash v3.7.5 RC1 column 4082 at F600 A5, October 1, 2019, 20 column 28 column 14, MSC v.1916 64-bit, AMD 64, where MSC v.1916 64-bit, and 64 means 64 bit python sources quora memory error generated by large numpy array stack overflow 32 or 64 bit version of python In my case, adding a type attribute changed type of the array to a smaller type from float64 to uint8, decreasing array size enough to not throw memory error in Windows 64-bit. From 2 Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you.